Ironically, last week on the cyber call, we talked about BIAs. So I want to use this as a learning you know, perspective for MSPs because there's some really important things that we can take away here from a tabletop perspective and be better prepared to run our businesses. So, John, could you just take it away from what happened or what do we think happened? Absolutely. So super quick background context. Uh, I think it was July 18th, really just the evening there. Now, July 19th. Uh, well, hey, there's a mass IT outage for organizations and businesses and airports and banks and supermarkets. And I uh, hear some hospitals, just crazy shenanigans all across the world where we're seeing computers getting with a blue screen of death or the air where they've crashed on a Windows computer. And the problem is a Windows and CrowdStrike, actually, the antivirus EDR XDR solution that had an update changed some modifications to their kernel driver files, but unfortunately didn't play nicely. Uh, there's some speculation, hey, that might be a null byte file, something that would just be a corrupt case and something that would just, uh oh, make a blemish, whoopsie, mistake, uh, and it crashed hundreds of thousands of millions of computers. Um, and now we're kind of hey, dealing with the fallout because unfortunately you can't really make an automated update or push a fix. You kind of have to manually go to each machine and boot into safe mode, hey, make a couple changes. And if you're working with BitLocker or some other things that get in the way, well, hey, you've just got even more hoops to jump through. So it will be a slow recovery process, but I think now the world is in that remediation, mitigation, and workaround to just try and build things back. Okay. Really appreciate the, uh, the synopsis there, John. So through the lens of an MSP, you know, Good news, bad news. Like, what do we mean by that is, again, this isn't, if you're an MSP running CrowdStrike, or it could be in any situation, like an endpoint, that this unfortunate situation happened. You have, you've baked this into your offering. The customer is just looking at you, but at least this one, there's enough news out there that they're not saying it's your fault, um, Mr. or Mrs. MSP. That said, John, I'm a MSP. I have 100 customers with Windows systems all across the board. I'm looking at this through the lens of a really important tabletop. So this could be a huge denial of service at scale, which this seems to be in, in essence, or ransomware, or in this case, your provider had an issue. So in terms of you know, criticality, you know, as an MSP, we have to be asking ourselves, what are our comms look like, right, to our customers? And then look at who comes up first. What are our SLAs, recovery time and point objectives? And and John, just curious if you could just comment, because I know there's no, hey, John, give me the solution. I know there's not a solution, but more so preparation. What should we be thinking here? And also maybe just anecdotally, if things go on too long, what was initially a um, situation where uh, it was you know an outage, could there be any data implications if, for example, a SQL server got shut down incorrectly and they don't bring things up correctly? Just if you could comment on those types of things. I'll try my best. I think just as you <laughs> alluded to, hey, you know, this is a hard problem. This one is yeah. really tough to solve for. Right. I don't think I have a, a good answer. So my heart goes out to folks really fighting fires here. Uh, but I think you are hitting the nail on the head for, hey, what do we have for a plan? Uh, right. or at least a semblance of a plan. Who do we call? Who do we communicate with? Is there a comms plan? Is there, I don't know, recovery backup steps, documentation, walkthrough checklist? Anything is better than nothing in this case. Uh, and it's weird, especially to think through these scenarios that seem unrealistic or unlikely, but like, hey, how can I get back to my computer if I never boot to an operating system? Uh, do we have all these BitLocker recovery keys or things that we might need to have documented or even like physically written down if the domain controller's stuck in a boot loop? It's, it's wild to think about these things, but you know, I think this goes to show this is the opportunity to. And when you can have those conversations, just as you said, in a tabletop exercise, we'll get a little bit more prepared for the stuff we think we can't prepare for. <laughs> right, right, yeah. And and maybe, John, it's, hey, I'm in a peer group. Hey, we should do this, you know, in our group together because let's just say I'm running CrowdStrike or whatever endpoint it was. Again, this isn't about CrowdStrike. To me, this is a bigger situation. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm running said endpoint. I have this issue with 100 customers. 
can I lean on my seven or eight people in my peer group? Hey, that is that aren't running this. Can we? Can you guys help me? I'm going to have to bring up a hundred customers. I got a lot of manual things. It's almost like that mass ransomware where you know you're going to have to lean on peers potentially to help you. Um, and then, like I said, John, we got to figure out prioritization. We're going to probably have that 80, 20 rule where, you know, you're going to have customers that maybe, you know, you know, like a la the, um, the recent uh, auto industry issue, um, you're having mass revenue losses based on this. So this is, you know, not just technical, this is business implications and big ones. So we're seeing it with airlines, banks, et cetera, as you indicated. Yeah, it's funny. You said, hey, John, I know you're going to miss the cyber call because you'll be out traveling. We're like, well, goodness, we'll see if I'm out yeah. traveling. <laughs> I don't know if airlines and, and all are, are back into action here. But if I may, I think the last sentiment that I'd love to share is that like, look, I know things feel like they're all on fire. And uh, I don't know, the internet's kind of growing crazy with stuff falling over, choking left and right. But look, uh, uh, at the other end of the screen, uh, it's another human being. Like yeah. their folks are trying to fix these problems, solve things the best they can work through this. So uh, know that we're sort of all in this together. And, and I don't mean to say that in a cheesy trite way, but genuinely, literally um, we, we're all going to have to muddle our way through this, uh, but it's going to happen. We're going to be all right. And, you know, we'll take on the next challenge when the time comes. So. Yeah. Really well said, John, really well summed up. And again, wanted to bring you on for your perspective. And again, use these incidences for learning. And even if we can get that much better at resilience and preparation than we were, that could be significant. So again, really appreciate your partnership as always, John, and willingness to jump on and wishing you all a wonderful weekend. Thanks so much, Andrew. Enjoy CyberCall. Thanks, pal.